Hello. We're back. And today, we're going to learn how to measure the mass of the Earth. We're going to weigh the Earth here, folks. And how we're going to do it is we're going to take something that Newton teaches us, and that is every object is attracted to the other, every other object. I am attracted to the Earth, and the Earth is attracted to me. And we're going to use that in our formula. So the formula is force of gravity. Hold on. Let me put that over here. Force of gravity is equal to the gravitational constant times m1, that would be my mass, times m2, the mass of the Earth, over the distance between us squared. Now, we have two things, a few things that we need to know. The force of gravity. You can get that by putting a person on a spring scale to measure the force of gravity pulling him. My mass, I have to get by putting me on a balance. Here I am, compare me to some known mass, and I'm able to figure out my mass. Now, weight, this is my weight, the force of gravity, this is my mass, how much of me they are. We tend to think of them as being the same, but they're not. If I go to the moon, gravity is going to pull me less. I will weigh less, but there's not going to be any less of me. If this mass is the same as me, you take us to the moon, we're still going to be the same mass, even though gravity is less. So you got weight, measured in newtons, mass, measured in kilograms. Now, I managed to get that using a scale. I got my weight as 1,067 newtons, um, and my mass is 108.9 kilograms. And the Earth's mass is what we're going to find out. Now, the gravitational constant is really important. Until they knew the gravitational constant, they couldn't do this calculation. Long story about how they found that out. But it is 6.674 times 10 to the negative 11. Gravity is very weak. Now, my distance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second. The distance to Earth. You're there now, aren't you? You're at Earth. But, you know, I'm right next to this piece of Earth, but there's another piece of Earth and the Himalayas on the other side of the Earth, 8,000 miles away, which is a lot further away. So what we need to take is a center point for the Earth. So I am about 6,378 6, kilometers from the Earth, from the center of the Earth. Now, we need to put everything in meters, so 6,378 kilometers is 6,378,000 meters. Whole thing is squared, okay? So, now by the way, um, since the numbers are gonna get messy, I wanna put everything in scientific notation. 1.067 times 10 to the third Newtons. Um, this stays the same. 10 to the negative 11. My weight becomes 1.089 times 10 to the second. Earth's mass is what we're trying to find. Um, we're going to make this 6.378 times 10 to the sixth. Um, scientific notation, whole thing squared, just makes the math easier. It just makes the math easier. A lot of people are afraid of it. Just go with it. It'll make your life so much easier. So I'm going to start doing the math here. Just going through here. Um, the gravitational constant times my weight. Multiply that together. I did it ahead of time. Um, multiply that together, I get 7.6.67 times 1.08, gives me 7.268 times 10. Negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9, all over oh, times m2. That's what we're trying to find. That's the mass of the Earth. 6.378 squared gives me. Uh, 40.679, 6 times, times 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 6 is 10 to the 12. Now, I want to get at, I want to try to isolate the mass of Earth. So I'm going to multiply this by 40.679 times 10 to the 12. Think about how many zeros I'd have to have if I was not doing scientific notation. And over here, 40.679 times 10 to the 12. 40 times 1.069 gives me 
40, 43.404. 12 plus 3 is times 10 to the 15th. And that equals... Um, 7.268 times 10 to the negative 9 times that mass we're still trying to find. Divide both sides by 7.268 times 10 to the negative 9. 7.268 times 10 to the negative 9. So 43 roughly divided by 7, and I got 5.9. 9.72 times 15 minus negative 9, the same as plus 9, 10 to the 24 is equal to, these are, by the way, are canceling out, m squared, or m, not m squared, but the second mass. So the second mass, which is Earth, comes out 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, which is big compared to me. Um, but if you ever wondered how we know how massive the Earth is, this is the first way we ever figured out how to do it. Now, later when we got into space, we had other ways of doing it, but this is the first way we ever had. As soon as we could figure out the gravitational constant, we could weigh the Earth. And we did. And if you ever want to know how we know how massive the Earth is, this is how we know. By the way, um, just a couple things to think about. Some places, gravity is weaker. Gravity's a little on the weak side here in um, California, a little stronger in New York. Um, just things to think about. So if you do it, you might get an answer that's off by a little bit, but it shouldn't be off by more than one or two percentage points. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I also hope that I lined the camera up right because I'm working in a new room. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.